Here we're asked to factorise a squared minus 2a minus 8. You can recognise this as a quadratic. It has an a squared part, an a part and a constant. Up to now, we've been mainly seeing x, so with an x squared part, an x and a constant. But as said in the introduction, it doesn't always have to be x. It can be other letters such as a or c or so on. So again, we'll use the guide number method here. So we're multiplying the a squared coefficient, which is 1, so it's 1a squared, by the constant, which in this case is minus 8. So 1 by minus 8 is equal to minus 8. Next, we write out the factors for minus 8. So as it's a minus, it has to be a minus by a plus. So minus 1 by plus 8, and alternatively, plus 1 by minus 8. You've minus 2 by 4, and 2 by minus 4. And that's our factors complete. Next, we have to pick out the set of factors which add up to give the middle number, so the number beside the a, which in this case is minus 2. So what factors here add up to give us minus 2? If we analyse them, we can see 2 and minus 4. So minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So we'll rewrite our quadratic using this information. So instead of minus 2a, we'll put in plus 2a minus 4a. Next, we'll factorise by grouping. So we'll pair them up. a squared and 2a have the most in common. Then we have minus 4a minus 8. So you can see in the first pair, the common factor is a. So it'll be a a squared divided by a plus 2a divided by a. In the next set of terms, you can see minus 4 divides into both of them evenly. So we'll take minus 4 as a common factor. So next we'll complete our division. a squared divided by a is just a. 2a divided by a is 2. Minus 4a divided by minus 4. Minus divided by a minus is a plus. So that leaves us just a. Minus 8 divided by minus 4. Again, a minus divided by a minus is a plus. Leaves us with plus 2. So you can see we have a common factor of a plus 2. So a by a plus 2 minus 4 by a plus 2. So we can rewrite that as a minus 4 by a plus 2. And that's it factorised.